Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanna, also known as Keto in Canada, and I have gotten a request for another full day of eating. So I thought today is as good as any day. I'm going to take you along on this journey. So let's go do it. I wanted to pop in really quick and just add that my macros are 1800 calories a day, up to 30 net carbs, how much? 100 grams of protein and 137 grams of fat. So that's what I try to do every single day and actually this was a perfect day for me. So let's watch. Okay guys, so I'm gonna eat this half cup of raspberries. It's going down. Nate suggested I eat some raspberries or any sort of berries just to give me some more energy before I work out. Not that that's been a problem, but the last time I worked out, I ate an entire meal before. I felt like I was gonna be sick for a good chunk of the workout, so. Raspberries are going down. And I'm also gonna drink this pre-workout. This is the perfect keto um, lemon flavored pre-workout. I haven't really tested to see if I noticed a difference yet, but I've been taking it since I've been working out with Nate and it's going so far so good. If you wanna try it out for yourself, there's a link in my description below. Bottoms up. I don't think I'd ever actually ever say that. Did I just make a face? Sorry. I'm not a really a fan of like anything. So I came upstairs because I gotta finish this and then brush my teeth, but I've gotta be completely honest. This stuff does not taste good. But if it gives me better performance in the gym, then great. But I have a hard time even like getting it down. But I still do it every time. We'll see. I'm gonna use it like, I think the rest of this month. And then when the month's over, I'm gonna stop and see if I notice a difference. Oh, see as I turn the camera on. I'm so fatigued that it's like really tough. Yeah. There you go, there you go. Oh. Good. Uh. How many more you got? A lot. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just finished my workout with Nate. It went really, really well. I pushed myself super hard. And now, I get to go home and have breakfast slash lunch. I'm throwing it in the microwave because, as most of you know, I like it cooked and it's gonna go for a minute. Can you see it there? Oh, it's slowly turning. And it's not gonna go for a minute. I set my microwave to a minute, but I'm only gonna microwave it for 30 to 40 seconds, depending on your microwave. There it goes, blob. It's like morphing into a giant cookie. Are you guys ready for this? Here it comes. It's like breathing, it's so weird. I love it. <laughs> Here we go, a couple more seconds. And we're good. There it is. Big blobby cookie. What are you doing? I said the hero. You're trying to get hero? The hero's here. What are you doing up there, you little cute cat? Hello, beautiful. You're so handsome. Take a picture of him. I am taking a picture of him. Can I take a picture of you? Yeah. Were you eating a smoothie? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I said, can I have more? Oh, 
um, tomorrow. So this is the consistency that the bar gets to. I kind of overcooked it a tiny bit because it's like this different, different color brown inside. But anyways, yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so I didn't end up having time to eat anything for lunch because I got to go to Toronto if I'm going to make it in time. So it is what it is. I will eat when I get there and I will show you what I have for dinner. In Toronto, I decided to have a Caesar salad with added bacon and no croutons and a piece of salmon. Unfortunately, the salmon was super overcooked, but it is what it is. Just a feeling of a distant melody unknown. Alright, I'm back from Toronto and I am just cooking up some halloumi that I've sliced because I haven't eaten enough calories today and um, I gotta eat more before I go to bed. So what I've put in here is about half a tablespoon of olive oil. It looks like a little bit more but I won't be eating very much of it. And then, this is a little spray. Um, you just warm up the grill. <clears throat> you just warm up the, the pan to a medium heat, medium low, and then you fry up the cheese a little bit. Um, I gotta figure out some other snacky things to eat just to get my calories in because my salad at dinner just wasn't cutting it and um, it wasn't that great either. <laughs> So that is what the halloumi cheese looks like. It kind of gets all crusty and Steve's trying to steal some of it. Oh no, you dropped it on the floor. You're still gonna eat it. <laughs> so in trying to figure out how to get my macros pretty much on spot, I decided that I wanted to make a really nice dessert with strawberries, um, heavy cream, cream cheese, a little bit of swerve sweetener, um, and some hemp hearts and then all that I needed to do was add half a serving of almonds and it basically gave me my perfect macros for the day and that's how I do it so this here was my half serving of almonds I'm gonna eat those and then make my dessert so I chopped up the strawberries and then I added some heavy cream and the cream cheese to a bowl and now this was four tablespoons heavy cream two tablespoons of cream cheese. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of swerve in there just to taste and add some vanilla and whip it all together and then I'll just throw it on top of the strawberries. So that is a dessert. I added 30 grams of hemp hearts to that. So you got this nice thick whipped cream with the strawberries and is the perfect way to finish my day. I hope you really enjoyed this full day of eating video um, or what I eat in a day. I don't know. What do I call it? It was a long day. I'm very, very tired, and I gotta be up really early tomorrow. Um, reminder that I am building muscle right now, so I'm eating a lot more calories, 1,800 calories, than maybe you are if you are on a weight loss journey. And <coughs> if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys.